waiting so long for this. Here it is. The Mares Ubelite. Welcome back hikers to Follow Bigfoot, where knowledge is our niche on everything outdoors. We got our hands on an Uberlite. Yes, an Uberlite. This is one of the five pieces of gear on my wish list for 2019. Couldn't help myself, I placed my order in REI two weeks ago. They still had these left in stock and this just arrived at my doorstep today. I wanna go through what my first impressions on this thing. We'll go through specs. And lastly, we are going to take an opportunity to compare the Uberlite to its big brother, the NeoAir X-Lite, my favorite pad that's been in my pack for the last three years, and its bigger brother, the NeoAir X-Therm. All right, let's talk about the specs here first. Sizes, three, comes in a large, a regular, and a small, just like its counterparts. The regular, which is what I have right here, checks in 20 inches wide, 72 inches long, and two and a half inches thick. Let's check this thing out. In the box, you're gonna get a couple things here. You're going to get the regular Neoair Uberlite stuff sack, which all the Thermarest come with. You will get a patch kit, and then user guide and uh, warranty information. This is exactly what you'll see in your kit. All right, let's check out the specs. First, weight. Thermarest states that the Uberlite comes in at 8.8 .8 ounces. So we're gonna roll this thing back up. Boom. All right, so I'm gonna use my trusty scale. My scale reads that the Uberlite comes in at 8.7 ounces. Now, this is actually a little bit heavier than I thought it was gonna be. I have heard some reviews out there that the Uberlite comes in at 8.3 ounces, but on my scale, it's not what I'm reading. And the R value for the Uberlite checks in at 2.0. Now, if you're not familiar with R value, check out a video that I did, it talks about anything and everything that you need to know about R value. I'll link it right above here, and that should answer any questions that you might have. An R value of 2.0, you're gonna be able to use this thing right down to freezing conditions, or if you are a warm sleeper, you might be able to get away with getting this thing down into the upper teens. Now, what makes the Uberlite so darn attractive is the relationship between the R value and the weight. For me, I can use this thing in pretty much all three season conditions. I will get away with using this probably into the upper teens because well, I sleep warm. So being able to cut about three and a half ounces off of what I was carrying with the X light and not really needing the extra R value for what conditions I normally hike in, I'm pretty darn stoked about this. Now there are a couple other things that I think is pretty cool about this pad that's a noticeable difference between its counterparts and something that I think many of you are going to love. It just so happens to be probably the biggest complaint that I always hear about its counterparts. The crinkling sound that you get with both the X-Lite and the x -Therm. Now that crinkling sound that you hear in these pads is a reflective piece of material that is built inside of the actual X-Lite and X-Therm. And what that does is it gives the pad the ability to reflect the heat. Our value stands for resistance to heat flow, and that helps reflect the heat. It actually increases the R value so that you can use this in more extreme temperatures. The Uberlite pad does not have that reflective material. So because it doesn't have that reflective material, you don't have that crinkling sound. But you know what? Don't take my word for that. Let's check it out right now. I hate blowing these things up. So let's, uh, let's do a little bit of a test here. Let's do a sound test. So this is the Uberlite. Don't hear that crinkling sound. 
The Xterm. Uber Light. X Light. Now let's try the X Therm. The X Therm has an R value of 5.7. So it has a little bit more of that reflective material in here to again give more resistance to that heat flow and raise that R value. The X Therm is a four season sleeping pad. But you can see the differences between the sounds of each of these. And again, going back to the Uberlight. Now, honestly, this is a huge selling point for the Thermarest Uberlight. I know so many different hikers that don't even entertain the idea of bringing the X-Light or the X-Therm out on the trail because they can't stand that sound. They're light sleepers. And as a matter of fact, I've met a lot of hikers that got woken up throughout the night because of their neighbors tossing and turning on their X-Light and hearing that crinkling all night long. So, I think this is huge, 8.7 ounces, R value 2.0, which is gonna meet most of the conditions that new hikers need, and you don't get that crinkling sound. Thermarest, you may have just outdone yourself on this one. Okay, so I know you're probably asking yourself, Bigfoot, this is awesome, you know, I, I get it. You love this pad, you're excited for it, even though you haven't even slept one night on it, but what do you think is wrong with it? Well, I think two things. Number one, the material isn't as durable as the X-Lite and the X-Therm. Now, just feeling the material on uh, both the X-Therm and the newer X-Lite, you can feel that both of these are, are thicker, the, the material is thicker. And honestly, I've never had an issue with my newer X-Lite not performing, getting a hole in it, ever having to patch it, nothing. So I think you're gonna have to be careful and a little more gentle with the Uberlite. Second is just the R value. So you do sacrifice that R value, it's on a 2.0. For the cold sleepers out there, this might be more of a seasonal pad, like a summer seasonal pad, than it is a three season backpacking pad for people like me. So it really depends on the person. But at this time, other than that, there's nothing else that I really can see wrong with this pad. I am extremely excited about this. And you know, the other thing that is pretty darn sweet is just how small that these things get rolled up, how much space that they actually take up in your pack compared to the X-Lite and the X-Therm. You know what? Let's check that out right now. One eternity later. All right, so check out how sick the Uberlite packs down to compared to the counterparts. X-Lite, X-Therm. Of course, I got my trusty McDonald's cup here, but this is this is the size of a 21 ounce cup. This will fit in here, and, and I don't even have a rubber band around this, so I could even pack this even smaller. But when you think about pack size, what it's actually going to take inside of your pack, look at the difference between Uberlite and the X-Lite. And Uber Light and Xtherm, big difference there. I can fit my fingers around and touch them on Uber Light. I can't even I can't even come close on the X Light. So So as you can see, I am stoked about the new Uberlite. At the time of this video, Thermarest has sold out. I don't see any sizes available on Thermarest website. I got this from REI. It's been kind of hard to find these things right now because everybody wants them. If you're interested in checking out this pad or the other two pads that I talked about in this video, open up the show notes. I will have links for each of these pads below. All right, guys, so as you can see, I am super excited about Thermarest's new pad, the Uberlite. Let me know below if you're as excited about this as I am, or if there's another pad that you love, tell us what it is and why. I always love to read your guys' comments and see what kind of things that you guys are carrying out there in the backcountry. Now, if you found this video to be of any help or you learned something new, show me by giving me a thumbs up. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I only got one simple question. What are you waiting for? All right, guys, I'm done. That's it for me. Stay tuned for many more videos just like this. 
And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.